had a question um, from a student and they wanted me to show them how to do section 11.5 number 14 in the homework and I thought I would create a video for the answer to that question for the student and then also share it with everybody in case you're stuck on a similar problem. So this is another one that deals with expected value because it says at the end uh, based on expected values which is David's wiser choice in this situation and so if we read the question, we have a promoter of an outdoor concert and he expects to gain a net profit of 100000 unless it rains. And then if it does rain, he's going to expect a net profit of 25000 The probability of rain is 0.25. And then for a premium of $30,000, though, he can purchase insurance that would pay him $100,000 in case it rained. And based on the expected values, what is David's wiser choice in this situation? And so... They're going to want to know, should we buy the insurance or should we not? And so what we need to do is compare the two situations from an expected value point of view. If you remember, expected value is the outcome times the probability um, of that outcome plus any other outcomes times its associated probability. Right, just add it all together. So that's just in general, and you've used that in problems previous to this one. And so let me just get rid of that because we, we know that formula. So let's go figure out the two expected values. Now, the two values are if he does not purchase insurance. N Actually, let me not say not. Let me just say no insurance. Okay. That's that first sentence, right? And we definitely need the second sentence as well. And so let's look at the, the two situations that could happen. It could rain or it could not rain. I would think, a, well, not I think, I know that a majority of my experience with expected value, there are two outcome situations in which we need to know a numerical number for an outcome along with its associated probability. And so we create these little charts. Now, if I, if I read that first sentence, um, he's going to get a net profit of $100,000 unless it rains. That means if there's no rain, he's going to get a profit of $100,000. And if it does rain, that's going to drop to $25,000, quite a drop in there. Now, the probability that it rains is given to me as 0 0.25. That means the probability that it doesn't rain has to make up to 100%. So right now, there's a 25% chance that it's going to rain. So there must be a 75% chance that it's not going to rain. Again, this is the same P and Q that you were used to in previous sections. So if it's a 0.25 probability that it rains, then it's a 0.75 probability that it doesn't rain. Okay, let's go find its expected value. So I'll just call that the EV. The EV is equal to well, exactly what the formula says. The outcome, 25,000 times its associated probability plus the outcome times its associated probability. And we just run that in our calculator. So I'll do that really quick with you. Um, so I'm just putting these numbers in my calculator. Nice, simple um, calculation. Really can't mess it up order of operations wise. And we come up with, I think I typed something wrong, 25,000 times 0.25 plus 100,000 times 0.75. And we come up with 81,250. The first time I, rounded, I ran it, it did not come out to be a number that made any sense. I knew it must have put an extra zero in or something. So that's the... That's the expected value of having no insurance. Um, so let me, I want to keep this language up here. So let's make this the insurance side. So you did get insurance. Now, same two things. It could rain or it could not rain. Now, let's go with the not rain. If it doesn't rain at all, then we know that that has a 75% chance of happening. Make that look more like a 7. And a 25% chance that it does rain. So those numbers don't change at all. Now, the number here is, well, 
if it doesn't rain, remember he gets $100,000 in profit, but it didn't rain, so he's out the $30,000 that he paid for insurance. So his net gain is $70,000 because he paid $30,000 for insurance that he ultimately didn't need. Okay, so his, but he's willing to sacrifice that for a larger profit if it rains. So if it rains, and let me get rid of this. You can back the video up if you need to see that again. If it rains, let me put that in red. If it rains, remember, he's going to get um, $100,000 from the insurance policy. And he's also going to get $25,000 just from the concert goers. So, right, this is the insurance company paying him. Insurance company. These are the fans at the concert. But he also spent $30,000 in order to get that. And so when I run all those numbers together, $100,000 plus $25,000 minus $30,000, that puts us at $95,000. So that's the number, that, uh, that's the profit that he would get if he bought insurance, right? Got that $100,000 insurance policy, he's going to clear $95,000. So it does much better if it rains. But what's the expected value, right? Because the expected value will take into account the probabilities. Because we are not, we don't know if it's going to rain or not. Obviously, if we knew it was going to rain, it's good to buy the insurance. But it may not rain. And we're sacrificing a lot of money there. Let's go ahead and look at this expected value. Easy. We just follow the formula. 95,000 times its probability plus 70,000 times its probability. And we find out what that equals. So the expected value of the insurance, of buying the insurance and going through this. Let me run that. Is 76,250. And so is it worth it to buy the insurance? They would say no, because I'm losing money. I have a my. I have a loss as I look at this. As I compare these two values, I have a loss if I buy the insurance. And so they'll make us usually fill in a statement. So there would be something like, um, do, does this person have a name? Yeah, David should not buy insurance because the expected value would be 76,250, which is less than the expected value if he did not purchase insurance, which was eighty one thousand two hundred fifty. And hopefully that makes sense. Your expected value in buying the insurance is less than your expected value if you didn't buy insurance. So the insurance wouldn't make sense in this situation um, with the probabilities taken into account. So hopefully this helps you. What I do know is that you're going to have a very, very similar problem in number 14. You're not going to have the exact same numbers, but they're going to talk about a, a net profit and maybe rain and not rain again. But the, the probabilities will change. The cost of the insurance will change. And so you'll find at times your question might show that the insurance actually produces a larger amount. Well, then buy the insurance because it's greater than what you would have if you didn't buy insurance. So hopefully that helps. Um, and uh, if you have questions or concerns, reach out via email and I'm happy to address them or better yet, come by the Zoom session.